Hello. This is Artifacts of Mars. And unfortunately what we have here is a Sandinista style revolution happening in our country. I'm not taking it back. You don't like being called a Sandinista? Then what are you doing being associated with this bunch? I am not taking it back. These are Sandinista style communists. They're not the Sandinistas, of course, but they've earned a update theme. They've been blocking roads, which is not free speech. That is a crime, and they should be arrested. Protester at Donald Trump campaign rally was kicked and punched by a supporter of the Republican presidential front runner on Saturday as activists continue to channel real estate billionaires a week after he's forced to postpone a rally in Chicago. The incident occurred at a rally in Tucson, Arizona, where more than 100 protesters were positioned so close to the entrance that it was difficult for supporters to enter the venue. Inside the rally, a female protester wore a white sheet over her head in imitation of a Ku Klux Klan hood. She ought to be ashamed of herself. She was accompanied by a male demonstrator and held a sign with a Confederate flag imprinted on Trump's face. As local police attempted to remove the pair, an African-American Trump supporter enraged at the appearance of the woman in the sheet, kicked the man with the sign three times and punched him once. Trump called the protester with the hood really disgusting, adding that they're taking away your First Amendment rights. Yeah, they are. This is a whole thing. Well, it isn't a whole thing. See, this is the same bunch as the Democratic Spring. There's no difference between them. And they're headed uh, to the Capitol, and what I'm afraid of is... That so-called Democrat Obama is going to use so-called Democratic Spring to Benghazi the Congress, if you get my drift. Uh, yeah, Obama is on their side. Obama is an ally of these uh, creatures. So let's take a look at another story. The Black Rose in Arizona, they're blocking... Here we go. Trump protesters block streets in Fountain Hills. That is a crime and they should be arrested. They're trying to prevent people from getting to Trump and holding the rally. That is a crime. They have no right to do that. This is not freedom of speech anymore. This is this is criminal these this is illegal criminal activity. Trump protesters were blocking vehicles leading into Fountain Hills in advance of Donald Trump's campaign to stop Saturday morning. Three protesters were arrested, Maricopa County Sheriff Joel Arapaio said. We had a little problem, Arapaio told the crowd gathering in Fountain Hills. Demonstrators were trying to disrupt. Three of them are in jail. If they think they're going to intimidate you, the next president of the United the U.S., it's not going to happen. For hours, protesters, about two dozen in total, parked their cars in the middle of the road, unfurling banners saying, Donald, dump Trump, and must stop Trump, and chanting Trump is hate. Trump was backed up for miles. Traffic was backed up with miles. Drivers honking in fury. Protesters were also chanting, Donald Trump shut it down, Phoenix is people's town. These are Sandinista-style communists. No way sands or butts about it. I won't even uh, think of anything else. Learn speak English when Trump supporters shouted at the protesters. You can't even show your face. 
another pro-Trump attendee said in a protest with Dan Dan over her face. Yeah, they're Sandinista communists. Essentially. They're not the Sandinistas, of course, but they're our version. I got at least one more story. Hang on. Okay, in Manhattan, the San American Sandinistas uh, held an anti-Trump rally. This one wasn't as nasty, apparently. At least they didn't. I don't know if they blocked things or not. Some protesters at the event told 1010 wins Samantha Liebman that they couldn't believe Trump has come this far in the election. They believe his rhetoric is divisive and racist. Racist. I haven't seen any such rhetoric. Protester Redentor Toronto Terrona, who was a member of Filipino American Need a ride? Organization, said there's no one wanting to provoke violence. Yes, BS. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. Donald Trump is a danger to America, a man told WCBS 880's John Metaxas. Nobody stands up and be counted our country's democracy and be taken away from us. Uh, excuse me, have you seen what we have in the White House? You want to talk about democracy? We have an Islamic imam in the White House. Unbelievable. Democrats, demonstrators chanted Donald Trump go away, racist, sexist, anti-gay. And immigrants are welcome here, don't give in to racist fear. These people are unbelievable. They're saying they're nice to communists, like I said. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm not taking it back. I'm not going to say something different, spare people's feelings. These are Sandinistas. Trump's policies threaten many of us in black, Latino, LGBTQIA+, whatever that is, Muslim, and other communities, said... A group called Cosmopolitan Anti-Fascists. Never heard of them. Another group of uh, Sandinistas. The protest was backed by several activism groups, including Ice Free New York City. Need a ride? Get and Dial 7's new mo- State Coalition Millions Mark NYC Queer Detainee Empowerment Project. Revolutionaries Against Gendered Oppression Everywhere, Rage, Revolutionaries, there you go. We're in deep trouble, people. This is a communist revolution in progress. If you don't wake up, get your guns ready, because I think you're going to need them. I don't... I don't like thinking about it. But I think you're going to need your guns, folks. I hate to have to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to think it. I think you're going to need them fairly soon. You're going to have to defend yourselves. Because remember, Obama's on their side. Well, this is going to be hell. If we make it to a free and fair election, this I am going to be so pleased with that. This is going to be hell, folks. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.